Do we have some dinosaurs out there? Yeah! Cold blooded reptiles are weak. Average temperature is 123. Cold battles, that's basking in the sun. Cold blooded, we're cold blooded. We are going to tell the story of Ty. Here he is right here, all right? Let's show you how it's going to work. Rawr! No! No! Well, Ty is struggling with it, hence his confusion. But he's even more confused because he doesn't know if in fact he might be a... A carnivore! Not uh, processed meat, perhaps, anyway. But worse than Do that, you our so continents are squashed together. One piece of land called Pangaea. How do we know this? Well, check this cool stuff out. Yeah, here we go to Africa, here we've got South America. You guys can do this at home, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. You get all the continents, cut them out, and check this out. Whoa, pretty cool. All what, right. sort of a, what sort of a dinosaur is a brontosaurus? Who can tell me, young lady? It's a herbivore. Give the young lady a big round of applause if you please. Well done, young lady. We've got some paleontologists in here today. So and how many legs are as big? Nothing's as big as you. you. What you gonna do? Now you're stuck in goo, big boy, big boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Now you're stuck She's gonna have to stop roaring for help. Maybe a friendly dinosaur could come to her aid. Or, oh no, maybe a predator. Let's hear the roars though! Dinosaur blues, wow. Let's see. And then along came Ty. Let's go, oh, who could it be? Big strong Ty. Oh no, it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex, oh my goodness. Big strong Ty, mean green Ty. Along came big strong mean green Ty. It's a Tyrannosaurus. Oh no, Brian is still stuck. And worse, he's scared. Be scared, Brian. Ah. Oh, let's see. Why? Luckily, Brian lacks long tails and he cannot die. Brontosaurus up sky high. When a herd pounds in with a massive gait and a load of veggie weight, you get dumb. Exactly. Oh, Turn oh, 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 oh. Brian, very good. He can't always be Mr. Nice Ty. He should have been an easy meal for that Tyrannosaurus. Still, they give each other a great big hug. Even today, Pangea is on the move. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more. Why, though he accidentally bit that herbivore's tail, he got a taste of that tail. And you know what? He likes what he tasted. And he suddenly realized he is, in fact, King of the carnivals. Okay. You got the friends cousin in the mall. I'm a carnivore. That means I'm no magic freak enough. I ain't mean. No more. Nice time. Carnivore. I ain't Oh my goodness. What does this mean? Does this mean that Ty is now going to eat all his newfound friends? Does this mean he's gonna eat all his newfound friends? Yeah. What a sick crowd you guys turned out to be. <laughs> oh my goodness, well, until I told you. Meteor, you're gonna chase the earth. You've gotta keep away from that meteor. Don't let it crash into you, all right? Meteor's gonna chase. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. It won't be fine. Oh my goodness, When the distance could cold blood be stopped by a freak metal rock from the sky. It's sleep and know the dinosaur, there's no way to fight. Though the size and power on Earth was unraveled, there's no known survivors from that meteor strike. There's fossils and bones from the edge of the dinosaur. Hey, 
actually, that song was actually written by a band called Survivor. How ironic. Alright, let's see if the Earth would indeed survive. Alright, every all you guys here, but the Earth did survive. 65 million years ago, mammals began to appear on the Earth. And then as we learnt, two, just two million years ago, humans began to appear on the Earth. And the Earth survived. Give our actors a big round of applause.